So here we're going to be looking at the Surfer SEO auto optimized feature. This is something that comes along with our content editor and is great when you're just about almost done writing your article and you need a little bit of push. After clicking on auto optimize, it's going to go over it and add a lot of the keywords that you're going to be needing here, subbing them out, changing around your content. So a great little tool that you can utilize. Keep in mind, there's going to be a certain amount of credits that you get depending on the pricing plan that you have. Just want to let you know that. So with that being said, I have about 2,700 words here probably could do maybe a little bit more but for the sake of this I just wanted to give you an example so I got it to around 65 okay so let's click on auto optimize here and before we do there are three dots so you can allow it to create new sections if you want or you can keep that on or keep it off so if we go over here it says when enabled auto optimize will be able to generate and suggest new sections based on SERPs topical gap analysis if applicable so I'm actually going to turn this off I kind of want to keep these sections that I have there so it can change around the words it can add a little bit more and so on and so forth with that being said I'm going to click on auto optimize right here and let's give it a second showing where it is. And once it's done, I will get back to you as it does its magic. All right, and so just like that, as you can see, our boosted content score went from 65 to 75. That's why it's a good reason why you don't want it to be like around here, like you're barely writing anything and then you do it, it's not gonna be as big of an increase. But say you were at like 70 or 80 or 85 around there. So I'd say like around maybe the end of the orange to the beginning of the green, maybe a little bit higher. So we're talking about where we were before 65. So maybe like 65 to 85, anywhere around there, this is gonna be a great time to utilize it. So it's gonna talk about how it boosted the score. It has seven optimized sections and it added NLP entities of 20. So if we click right here, we can showcase what's going over here. Talks about how this is used three times. This is good, currently used two times. And this is great because these are the keywords that we wanna utilize at these specific number of times as well. So this one used uh, 95 to 151 times, currently used 84. Could use a little bit more, but that's completely fine. If we click on this, we're gonna to go to the next section. As you can see, as we hover over, it's just gonna keep showcasing what it has done. It optimized the H2. Okay, that's fine. We can do restore original. We can compare versions if needed. We can go to next. This is going to be another H2. We click on next here. And as you go down, it's just going to showcase what has been changed, what's been added overall. And in my opinion, this is a nice little fantastic feature. Uh, when I talked about the tutorial that I did in my review for Surfer SEO, I always talk about there's always someone in an SEO group, not just one person, a few people are guilty of this, where they spend so long trying to get it to like 99 or 100, thinking it's going to be quote unquote perfect. It doesn't have to be <laughs> that perfect, okay? As long as it's ranking high, that that's what you want. Even if it's ranking at number one in 75, don't touch it. Just keep it how it is. Okay. So if you're in the green, it's good. Don't worry about fighting tooth and nail just to get it to 99 or hundred. Or if you want to do that, that's what auto optimizes for. It's going to really help you boost it, get that extra boost that you need without having to meticulously go in and add specific keywords. So that's how it's going to be done. And when you are done, if you don't want to use that, you can click on cancel. But if you do simply click on save and close and that my friend, you have now auto optimized your article using the specific feature inside of Surfer SEO and more specifically their content editor. Hope you got some value out of this video. And of course, if you haven't gotten to grab Surfer SEO, I will leave my link in the description where you can do so. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.